Uh, it's actually not J. Jonah Jameson, he's the boss, but I'm Peter Parker and I'm working for Dave Bugle. You know what's the Dave Bugle? From Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, because I said it, like he didn't know it. I didn't know? No, you did not. Yeah, I did. No. You just at the Daily Bugle from Spider Man. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And the Bayou Mustache works there. How is it looking? Say how it looked like the yeah, guy. It's like kind of like it used to be ginger and then it went like sort of white streaks through it. Definitely not. Yeah, it is. All the kids in the back. I can't see you. Well, we're, we're here, I promise. <laughs> You're vlogging. You're vlogging. B roll inbound. How's it going? Hello there. Cheers. To the freaking weekend! Mikey, how much do you weigh now? 98 or 99 kilo. And 89 of that is in the quads. In here. What's up? <laughs> Good afternoon. He said, how sexy you want to look? I said, <laughs> maximum sexy. That's what he did. Ah, Welcome yeah. <laughs> to the casting couch with <laughs> Craig, Mikey and Kevin. Team, as you just saw, we didn't really record much whilst we were training. We were just enjoying each other's company. And now, again, we're enjoying each other's company with three mini cokes and three big dudes. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Is that face all of us? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Just say I'm a big dude. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. You're on yeah. the edge of the wide camera angle as well, so you look even bigger. Yeah, boy. Oh. Yep, yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm not flexing. You're a flexor. Come on, and join the boys. Come on up. Kevin uh, said after the workout, you know, he was just glad he finished. Yeah. Sometimes it just takes you a, a minute, but glad I finished. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> If there's one thing you learn from this team, you know, today we didn't pick up the camera too much because I just wanted to spend time with my friends. So if you have some friends that you want to spend time with, go spend time with them because it's invaluable. Today is an ordinary training session, guys. We are doing the third and final SIG qualifying. Yeah, there is four of us and we are going to do some um, CrossFit today. That is all we have to say because we are nervous. Nah, Let's. I'm not nervous. I am, I'm always nervous. <laughs> Note to diary, qualifier went well. Uh, I actually felt really good. Weightlifting and just doing bits of cardio. Body feels great. And Kevin asked, uh, said this. I did it by myself, so I hurt myself today. <laughs> As Johnny Cash said, hey, hey Syria, play that song. I uh, hurt myself today. <laughs> it was a stupid idea to do it by myself, all of the reps. And after the first round, I saw all of the lights. <laughs> yeah, Kevin got 29. Yeah. 29 bar muscle ups in the 25 minute time cap. That's very impressive. Considering the last barbell weighs the same as him. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more than body weight. 105%. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see, Mikey isn't here today. He had to leave early because he left the hoover on. <laughs> what? <laughs> you filming? We are. Today is the first day on the program team where I've looked at the percentages, written them all down and gone, oh sh that's, that's gonna, I might not be able to do it today. 
and that's fine. And we're going to go into the depth of are we going to do it or are we not going to do it. Yesterday we did a qualifier workout, as you saw. Jack is now not doing any of the squats today. <laughs> he did hot cold therapy all night and still couldn't sleep because his legs were so sore. Fact. Benny's absolutely fine. He always is. And you know, obviously this morning Kevin left. Mikey was here the weekend and we thought we need someone here for training today to give us a bit of motivation. So we have the strongest man in the age group of like 32 onwards with blonde hair and blue eyes that's under six foot from Worcester. <laughs> and, it's, and it's Will Kane. Strong. Yeah. Masters Games winner 2022. <laughs> He's not joking. He's actually going to do yeah, it. So one thing with training is you're never going to feel great every single day and you just have to take it as it comes. Some days when you don't feel great, you end up smashing it. So we'll just see what happens. Also, I mean, if these shoes did work, take me back to bed. Take me back to bed. <laughs> take me back to bed. <laughs> nah. Also today, look, we've had to change just something a little bit up. Uh, uh, every Monday we've been doing pause snatch. Uh, paused high hang snatch, power snatch. But um, this bicep, since we did a qualifier two with the strength and depth hang, you know, it had, it had hang dumbbell clean and jerk, it just got tight. And then I did the pause hang power snatch the day after and it tweaked a little bit and then it hasn't got better in a week. So I'm just going to have a week off any powers. But that doesn't mean we're going to have a week off the good old squats. 168 for a pause three back squat today. I don't know if I'm more worried about that or the 162 and a half for 10. It is what it is. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe sh I actually feel all right today. Craig probably won't include We look all right, this, eh? No, really? We look all right. I, I feel worse after the lunges on Fridays. Yeah, Friday lunges. Yeah. I feel like they kill me you way worse. You not do lunges though and not be in pain, you know? I feel like lunges is just one of those things that even if you did them all the time, your ass would still hurt for days after. Kevin basically said to us in the car journey on the car journey, in the car journey on the way back, he came on Friday, had, uh, came on Thursday, had a sore ass on Friday and left today with his ass feeling fine again. What a, what a good weekend. So uh, team, I'm back with the commentary over this bit. It would have got copyrighted with the music in the background, so I'm just going to talk over it instead. 167 and a half kilos. I don't know what that is in pounds. Let me work it out. Nearly 370 pounds for a paused back squat triple. It felt and moved amazing and uh, kind of caught me a little bit off guard. Over the first four weeks of the program, obviously the percentage has just been creeping up to a point where today I told you at the start, I was going to be like, oh, I don't know if I can do this one, but... And it's been built up through having the confidence over the weeks with the small increments and then feeling good. And then today, yeah, just... Felt good, got it done. Felt like I could have gone up to about 175, 180 for a paused couple or triple. Seeing stars a little bit, but that's only jazz. Oy. And then we had the set of 10 drop off set at 162 and a half kilos, 360 ish pounds. And again, the endurance in my legs felt amazing. It's weird going from a paused back squat into a normal back squat. You feel like you have so much power. So then it makes that set of 10 actually feel really good. But yeah, the amount of training and volume that we're doing at the moment, I feel like I'm getting much stronger. Everything is tightening up. And other than the little bicep issue, everything is like, I'm having a great time. Just going in every day, writing down the bits on the board, ticking it off as I go along and having peace of mind, knowing that I'm just doing the program, putting in hundred percent effort into every single lift and trying to move as well as possible and move better. And yeah, that's what training is all about. You know, trying to make progress and just enjoying it whilst you do it. Squats felt great today. You know what I mean? I said earlier, I thought I was going to die and today, I was the opposite, I was flying. Sometimes when you lower those expectations. I feel like this, babe. I feel like this is fine. Like... Honestly, that feels f***ing amazing. Sorry for my swearing. When you pass about five seconds, well, I'm on my way down now. I feel my middle of my upper back just tightening, my lower back tightening. Like that position just feels, and then when you drop it for the two seconds, you're like, two seconds after you're like, oh, I'm seeing colors. What team training are you doing at the moment, William? I'm doing team training competitor, so. How's it going? Yeah, good. Well, I've been PB in the last two weeks and I'm old now, so I should be getting worse. 
Uh, but yeah, feel great. Volume's good, not too much. I think we've like reduced it a little bit, but I'm feeling pretty, um, pretty strong at the minute. Those snatches, 80% for 20 reps. Didn't miss any, felt smooth. How did they look? Look at the smile. Yep. Yeah. 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 She said to me before that I'm going to do a walking lunge after I've done the jerk. <laughs> and you did it. Yeah, it's not the same week. Uh, neither is it the same day or anything. And Jeff doesn't even have the same hair. No. <laughs> I'm now a brunette. <laughs> you hit two BBs, how'd you feel? Uh, great, they were really good as well. Like the 71 was solid. Like I, when I did the 70, I was like, I knew that I had that, that was like a solid lift. And then the 73 and a half, I wasn't too sure that I had it. That's why I was a bit more wobbly, but I think if I had the same confidence and commitment as the 71, it would have been. So you went off program, but you're feeling stronger already. That's incredible. Yeah, I feel, Honestly, those the pause work is like dreamy. I don't know what, what do I tell you, team, all the time? Yeah. Do you? <laughs> anyway, that's where we're going to end today's video, team. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, as always, smash that like button. And if no one's told you today, you're an absolute legend. You bunch of legends. Yeah. Head over to tussamade.com <laughs> if you want to support Jazz and I, and uh, smash that like button. It also does really help us. Yeah. See you in the next video. Bye. Hope you enjoyed Bye. today.